To... Zapalił się skór. I saw it go right through here, the spark and out, there was some flames behind it. So the bounce. It bounced a couple times. Really? Yeah. What was it? Looks like a hawker. I think it was. I think it was a hawker. Okay. And it looks like real quick, but I'm, yeah. Yeah, it dragged a nice fire from about the far out now. I think it's still burning, let's say. normally on the runway or it could end up with the nose skidding down that 12,000 foot runway at LAX but the, there is so much equipment there Michelle they've got the cavalry out there it mm -hmm. seems like they've Jam. got it covered from the air from the ground they've got fire trucks ambulances and we should also okay. note there are buses ready to transport the passengers Jam. back to the terminal so they are anticipating and hoping that none of the emergency equipment will be needed and that they'll be using the buses a lot more than they'll be using the emergency gear let's watch this thing go and they've got their weather working in their favor too at this time yesterday there were still some uh, thunder showers in the area showing up on our live
Doppler 7000, but uh, today nice, clear conditions uh, for this plane to come in and make this, uh, this uh, emergency landing. This Airbus A320 JetBlue coming in now with uh, 146 people on board. That's 140 passengers and six crew members, uh, a pilot and a co-pilot up front. All right, we are watching it now, and it's coming in low and presumably slow now. It's probably crossing the 405 and approaching uh, Sepulveda Boulevard and ultimately the uh, airport. That's uh, runway 25 left. That was the 405 freeway right there. We're getting close. 25 left, as Mark pointed out, the longest runway at LAX, the one uh, they want to use for emergency landings if they can. And here it comes in now, this JetBlue flight 292 with that front nose gear pointed sideways. Hold the nose. Of smoke, but so far it's still intact. The landing gear. He's now slowing down as, as best he can. End of the runway. Mighty strong run uh, uh, landing gear here. That's the tires burning out there. Mm -hmm. All right best of all possible scenarios it did not collapse the chin gear or that the chin of that aircraft did not skid down the runway it has come to a complete stop they will now have to evacuate the passengers off that aircraft but they're doing it uh, with the nose gear still in place albeit with the tires burned away and gone but you can see no indications of any fire on board this aircraft it appears that this has all come to a very safe conclusion uh, we can guess now that the, uh, the emergency equi equipment is heading in that direction. Bill Thomas in Air 7, what are you seeing? Absolutely. Emergency crews are in position now. They are approaching the aircraft. You just saw them execute that soft field landing. Land as slow as you can without stalling the aircraft. They brought the nose down very gently at the end of the runway. They used up about 95% of the runway. And in just moments now, what you'll see is the emergency doors opening up, and everybody will use the emergency chutes at the direction of the stewardesses and stewards, the flight attendants. You can see the uh, on the left side of that uh, jet blue flight, 292, 1, 2, and three doors there. They'll be opening any moment now. They will deploy the emergency chutes, and then one by one, each of those passengers will be deployed. If anybody was injured during the landing, that's unclear right now. Uh, but if